Yeah, because, like, I love my state. You know, mm-hmm. like, I do my music so I could put my state on. Because, like, without Minnesota, where would I go? Yeah. But, like, there's no love in Minnesota. Like I said, like I always say, I'm a good artist. I wouldn't say I'm the best Minnesota artist, but I'm one of the top Minnesota artists. But I just feel like nobody don't know me because of the type of music I do. I don't do no drill music. I do music that really try to speak to my community or try to speak to yourself. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. I made a few plays off a flip. Now I'm on top. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co-founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so cursed up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. No. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yeah. I'm on Lake Street, yo. When you popping in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out. Facts, okay? We gonna be on that joint. Live on motherfucking Lake Street, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to say it. Say it. Say it. All right, we are back with another episode of Live on Lake Street. It is your girl, Lady Suge, and today we have an artist named Kay Jella. How you doing today? I'm doing good today, Miss Lady. Good. How are everybody doing today? Good. All right, so where are you from? I'm originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Born and raised, but I'm Cuban, Jamaican, and Caribbean. Um, my grandma, she came up to the United States when she was eight from the Virgin Islands. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And um, so, what made you get into music, and how long you've been doing it? Um, what got me into music was my uncle Sadiq. Um, I was working at Brotherhood Brew, Brew, like some years back, and like he was telling me to go to Studio Four, cause like I was one of the kids that like didn't give a fuck about school. I was on the verge of not graduating, so like mm. my uncle was like go to Studio Four, and I went to Studio Four, and from then on, I got into music. So at first I was doing beats, and then like I say, when I turned 22, I started doing my vocals. I really wasn't that good, so I've been doing music for like six years. Six years, okay. Yeah. And that's how you got into it. Um, would you want to switch out a career, or are you just really stick into music, or have you thought about doing anything else? Um, I love music. I like music for the simple fact that I'm able to express myself. Um, Okay. And but like you know, other question about switching careers. Yeah. Music, it's a career that I want to chase, but at the same time, I understand that it takes a lot. Yeah. Like you gotta really say yourself. So you a walking business. That's first of, first off. Because I know a lot of like artists definitely get into like clothing brands, producing, you know, just anything in that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take this quick break real quick to highlight our good folks over there at the Kitchen by Baked Brand inside the global market. They got some of the best food out here in the Twin Cities. One thing you got to know about me, I don't really like go to the mainstream spots. I'm all about the little mom and pop, little neighborhood spots that have the best food. Next time you're out there at the global market, you got to check out the stuffed turkey leg. They got this butter sauce. We're talking about the best wings in Minnesota. It's happening right now at the Kitchen by Baked Brand inside the global marketplace and their proud sponsor of Live on Lake Street. Peter Parker! So yeah, I do got a lot of things I do want to do other than just music. That's just one. Okay, like what? <laughs> you want to keep it a secret or? I'll tell you like, you could say a clothing brand. That's oh. just basic though. But if you want to say something deeper, um, get back to my community. Okay, that's nice. Fair enough. Yeah. Have you ever like, um, so I, you know, you were like from the like your family's from the islands and stuff. Have you ever traveled down there? Oh uh, no, nah. my family they used to go there like in the summertime when we were younger. But like mm-hmm. me, my dad and my sister, we never went back. My Why? dad probably went too, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My dad just wasn't one of the parents that was big on taking his kids places like that and stuff. Understandable. Like that. Do you plan on going there? Yeah, one day. Okay. Okay. Um. You have any features that you want to do or you have in plan with other artists? Um, right now I got a feature I'm working on with King Louie, the artist from Chicago. Okay, that's good. How's that going so far? It's going good. You know, I mean, I got his I got his 
verse already, so okay. just picking a date on when I want to release it or when we want to shoot the music video. Or I've been thinking about going to California to shoot the music video, or do I want to do it in Minnesota? Yeah, it depends on the song and the theme, so you got to kind of go off by that as well. Yeah, I, Cali would be pretty big, though. That would be a nice little view, nice little, you know. Yeah, I've been to Cali before. Yeah. So, yeah. Any other places you've traveled? Um... Not really. Just Cali and Minnesota. <laughs> if you want to say Chicago or when I got locked up in Iowa. <laughs> oh, not locked up in Iowa. <laughs> yeah, I got locked up in Iowa. Somebody told me, yeah, you out of went around. That's what oh. Iowa stood for. <laughs> How long were you locked up for? I was locked up for 30 days for some weed. Oh, okay. It's still for some weed. Shit, but it's still like that. Fuck <laughs> Iowa. For some little shit. Yeah, some little shit up here, but up in Iowa, they tell you why we have a zero tolerance. Oh, okay. That's so, not yeah. fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is there um, any feature you would like to do with an artist, whether it's like big or local? Um, Locally, right now, I got a song with my cousin Juan. Y'all don't really know him, but he's another Minnesota artist. I'm um, not, not Juan Juan. Um, I think he go by King Juan. I don't really know. That nigga still ain't even got no artist name, but we got a song that's out called New Glock. So that's okay. my cousin. I got another song with my cousin named Jamir that's called Champagne. That's out. Um, I got a song with Lost in Leon um, called Jesus Peace. That's out. That's another Minnesota artist. So shout out to them artists. Yeah, shout out to all the artists. I mean... Then my boy is Lost and Leon. He also my engineer. Like without Lost and Leon, I really wouldn't have the vocals that I have. Like like I said before, I was right. trash. Like oh man, <laughs> anybody could rap on the beat, just like all these other artists from Minnesota. I'm not trying to throw shade on nobody, but everybody sound the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you gotta sound. You gotta come different. You know. I don't want to be somebody that just rap on something. I want to have a story behind my music. And so that's kind of hinting around, would you work with any of the Minnesota artists out here, or do y'all kind of sound the same? You're like, nah. I'll work with a few. And who they are? Um, my favorite female artist from Minnesota, I say Carson Blue. Mm -hmm. Um, Male artist, I say Lil James. Lil James? Yeah. I think I heard him before. Okay. Um, that's about it. Just them two? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Carson. But shout out Carson once again. Um, any, let me see. Have you done any performances? Like... All right, so we're going to take this quick break real quick to highlight our good folks over there at the Kitchen by Baked Brand. Inside the global market, they got some of the best food out here in the Twin Cities. One thing you got to know about me, I don't really like go to the mainstream spots. I'm all about the little mom and pop, little neighborhood spots that have the best food. Next time you're out there at the global market, you got to check out the stuffed turkey leg. They got this butter sauce. We're talking about the best wings in Minnesota. It's happening right now at the Kitchen by Baked Brand inside the global marketplace and their proud sponsor of Live on Lake Street. Peter Parker! Um, any, let me see, have you done any performances? Like, yeah, um, uh, I was supposed to have opened up for Scam Bone and them. I mean, it was like, it's kind of fucked up how everything went. So, what happened? I, Somebody, something happened. The DJ must have did some fool shit. Mm -hmm. I really wasn't, I didn't get the whole time I got scammed on them, rushed it, you know. Then I had to kick them off and shit. It just was like a lot of fool stuff. Uh, I did a show with El Hitter. Um I just came back last month from doing a show out there in Joliet, Illinois. Other than that, I do a little local shows from like the Red Sea, um, Poor House, other things. You know. okay. um, any like big places you want to perform at in our showcase in Minnesota? Mm -mm. I really don't want to do no shows in Minnesota no more. Um, the most I want to do is travel, explore, you know. See. So you want to kind of just elevate from the whole Minnesota scene and get somewhere bigger yeah because like i love my state you know right. like i do my music so i could put my state on because right. like without minnesota 
where would I go? Yeah. But like, there's no love in Minnesota. Like I said, like I always say, I'm a good artist. I wouldn't say I'm the best Minnesota artist, but I'm one of the top Minnesota artists. But I just feel like nobody don't know me because of the type of music I do. I don't do no drill music. I do music that really try to speak to my community or try to speak to your soul. So that type of music you do. Okay, well, you still can get some love here. It's just the crowd that you surround yourself with. And that's one thing I've also noticed too. Like, it can be a whole bunch of people that support you. You don't even know them people. You're like, you know, like people, but they all support you. It's just the crowd that you're at. That also very much so depends. Because if you're in a crowd where it's just nothing but drill music and then you're just this one, you know, whether it's Cypher, whether it's, um, I forgot the other rap, but it's like, uh, it's some rap that's very popular. Something like Nas or something, you know what I mean? Like that type of rap. When you are drill, when you in a drill area, you that type of writer will look at you like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like they're not gonna support you as much. But if you're in your environment yeah. in Minnesota, because it is there, you know, it's just kind of you gotta look for it. You know what I mean? And when you're in that environment, you gonna feel the love and the support. So I definitely understand you. Minnesota goes is, off of popularity. Yeah, so that's what you believe. Too. And that's where we all gonna fuck up at. If we gonna go off popularity, ain't nobody gonna win. Yeah, <laughs> that, I mean, that was a big uh, debate and controversy in Minnesota. So you actually agree that it's a pop, it's a state based off popularity. Yeah. So if I mean, like, it's it's people out there that don't got no popularity and they better than me. Mm-hmm. And like, it's people out there that got popularity that's ass <laughs> <laughs> I mean like we don't we don't give we don't shine the light on the people that that's honestly good that honestly got talent we shine the light on people who don't got talent that's really that's not going to bring bring yeah. our city nowhere Makes so sense. and why do you think that it's all off popularity whoever likes whoever if say if say if you the popping female right now mm-hmm. Everybody gonna cling to you cause you popping. Yeah. Just cause like you got, just like now, you got this spot right now. Your friends gonna cling to you just cause you got this spot. Yeah. You yeah. guys, you got, you got a, you got a platform that could help you in the long run. A lot of people gonna want that. Yeah. That, you so it's like that. that's definitely true. So it's like they gonna hate before they wanna see you elevate. Facts. That makes sense, cause um. I've definitely been on both sides of the fence. I've been where I was the lame that no one really knew like that. Like, I wouldn't even say the lame, but I was just not really as known, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay, yeah, that's Champagne, because my real name is Champagne. So they was like, oh, that's Champagne, whatever. But then when I made a name for myself, it was like, oh, that's Shook. Like, there's a difference. Oh, that's Champagne. Oh, that's Shook. Like, <laughs> it's a whole difference, you know? So I definitely understand, like, from both points of views. And then when I had the popularity, people that, I've never, you know what I'm saying, I spoke to like maybe a few times. They'd be like, oh my God, it's like, okay, I, I get that. And do you feel like a lot of people that are popular in Minnesota, do you feel like they're humble or not? No, but if you got... <laughs> <laughs> Let me take me some I mean, water. Really I, know, I know some people like myself. I'm a popular, I'm a very popular woman, but I'm very humble with it. But like... Majority of pe- popular people in Minnesota, do you feel like they're humble about I'm, I'm, and I'm popular? And that's what I'm going to say. I ain't going to speak on no individual. I'm going to just say, like, generally, <laughs> if you say generally, ain't nobody got no filter. Yeah. And everybody think that they shit don't stink. <laughs> 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 but, like, I'll be the first to tell everybody, like, we all go through stuff. Mm-hmm. Even if you is popping right now, you still going through something, but you ain't going to let it be known. Right. But I don't mean that you shouldn't be humble. Facts. But I agree on there is some humble people, but majority they're not humble. Because if, if it was humble, we wouldn't be stepping on each other next. We would You're be elevated. You're making some really good points here because the thing about me is I see everything from two perspectives. Whenever I have, like... Uh, a debate or you know saying we state each other's opinions opinions like I always see things from both views you know what I mean so I definitely understand what you're saying because if we were all humble then we wouldn't have to be stepping each other's necks it wouldn't have to be any competition it would have to be no hatred 
Um, so I know, like you said, you were like, I'm not going to point anybody else. So I know there's like a few people in particular you're exactly talking about. And it's okay if you don't want to be blunt about it and say who I don't is. know about none of these people. I'm just speaking in general. <laughs> you're speaking from what you see. I, like, right? I'm one of the people that like really observe. Yeah, you just like, sit back and observe. I wouldn't say, feel like this, there's no gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. I just observe and I know that there's no gatekeepers, but a lot of people would disagree with me. How can we have gatekeepers and we don't have no label? Right. They say there's labels, but labels are dissing each other. That's true. We don't have no real structure, no real support from each other. You look at Minnesota be like, what? Minnesota. I had to tell people, you heard of George Floyd when I go out of town. You heard of George Floyd? They be like, yeah, I heard George Floyd. Yeah. That's the only time they know about Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that's that's um, my opinion, though. I feel yeah. like if we had real gatekeepers, we would really be flourishing. We would really be going somewhere. How do you feel about Jay State? Who that? <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder if that was any shots at him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Fair enough. But um, like I said, I do agree with everything you're saying right now. I, I say the most person that I hear a lot of people get shine on mm -hmm. is Nelly Skeet. I think that's his name. Mm -hmm. I, and I heard some of his music. I fuck with some of his music. So okay. I, ain't gonna, I ain't never throwing shots at him. So that's why I said ain't nobody who I really know. True. But like. That's somebody who I say that shines from Minnesota, and that's somebody that's really good. Facts. Do you feel like, not even, I wouldn't say the word deserve, but you feel, well, I'll use the word deserve. Do you feel like he deserved that spotlight? Who? Skeet. He you put in work. I see his videos, he'll be dropping. It mm -hmm. ain't no t ain't no stopping in that man work. That's right. So if you put in that work, you deserve that. Right. That's That's true. That is very true. That's like Carson Blue. That's why she's my favorite artist, because she put in that she work. She put in that work. She definitely did. And, like, she's not an artist that's going to hate on the next. She, I done seen her out there in the crowd telling people, y'all better come up in here and support this person. Ooh, this person got real talent. Like, she do that to people that, like, she really fuck with. Like, she really see talent. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of artists that really don't hate, but it's artists that do hate. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm one of them artists that hate. But I'm one artist that's gonna tell the truth. Exactly. Everybody, you don't know, be blunt about it. Like I'm peeping y'all, y'all hating this shit, and y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Step on each other's toes and all that. Um, was there a moment where an artist or a DJ producer, anybody in that music industry, stepped on your toes? Cam Jones, I feel like. You said what? Cam Jones, I feel like. Cam Jones. The night that I was talking about um the skin bone when I was supposed to open up. Mm -hmm. uh, so I paid for my slot. I was the only person that paid for my slot. I was the headline. You were the only person that paid for the slot. How many artists was there? Um, I don't know. There was artists before me, but I paid for the headline and slot. Gotcha. I was the only artist that paid for that headline and slot. Okay. So I, Jack, the white boy, I don't remember the fucking white boy name. Jack yeah, Jack Ben. It's, and it's no shots thrown at him because I fuck with Jack, Jack mm -hmm. Bentley. Um, you know, I was on stage waiting for me to be called, but Cam Jones let Jack Bentley stay on further. Mm. Uh, my big bro, CJ Chill, and um, Triple OG, they was the ones that were throwing the shows, and um, CJ came downstairs telling me that, I don't think that you're going to be able to get on. So, I'm hot. Oh, no. And, like, when I get really mad, I start shedding tears. So, yeah. Triple OG, he see me, I'm like, can I talk to you in private? I'm, like, really trying to force him to talk to me in private because I'm really hot. So tears start um, going down my eyes, and he like, yo, what's wrong? I'm like, um, you know, I came here to perform. I don't give a fuck about the money. My music is what I want people to hear, because right. I got good music. So he was like, what you want to do? Do you want me to pitch you on stage? I'm like, yeah. So that night, that's why I was like, scam bone them really couldn't even put, do they little skits or nothing like that, because my set got fucked up, so I had to fuck up they set, because I wanted to go on. And I feel like that night the DJ had fucked it up. You feel like because everybody's shows or like Jack Billings was prolonged is because that's how no one couldn't do what they wanted to do? Was because yeah. was it just because of him or was it other artists too that had their You problem? see, Jack 
what I was told was whoever was on stage with Jack Bentley was never had supposed to have been on stage with Jack Bentley. So uh-huh. it was like Cam Jones must have let Jack Bentley get extra songs in that was told to me. So I'm just going off what was told to wow. me. Wow. Do you feel like it was a favoritism thing? Most likely. And then that's Cause that was, Cause it was nobody else that did that except for around that time. <laughs> that's insane. Wow. So yeah, that I see why you have that perspective of the whole popularity and favoritism thing. Cause that is kind of like, come on now, we all got to perform. I pay for my slot and I'm not getting shit. Like, yeah, that is kind of bogus to hear. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's always that little setback, you know, comeback times 10. So is there anything else you would like to go over? No, I didn't read much, but thanks for having me, you know. Yes. I appreciate being on Live on Lake Street, you know. Yes, and on top of that, Live on Lake Street, fuck y'all, because where the fuck is J-Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Quit on y'all. Man. He quit on y'all. Now it's me and Peter Parker. And I mean, I, I still fuck with y'all, but... Shit, I wanted to kick it with him one time, but nah, I still I still fuck with Live on Lecture because at the end of the day, I, y'all y'all one of the biggest um, media's out there in Minnesota. I say that we really support everybody. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta it costs to pay <laughs> with all artists. With all artists, it's always gonna cost to play. So yeah, you gotta pay to play for every sure. artist, it ain't free out there. I want y'all to know that mm-hmm. you gotta have at least um five thousand dollars in your bank count for, as an artist because you want to be paying for features if you want to get on bigger shows pay for that if you want to get on interviews and shit like this you gotta pay for that ain't one of them artists gonna say it's free nope everything you gotta pay for and i want everybody to know that most definitely all right well that is a wrap for live on lake street another episode my name is lady shook you can follow me on instagram lady with two eyes dot shook and we have him here so um also yeah give them your social media platforms where they could book you where they can find you my name is k jilla you can find me on instagram <laughs> at k jilla k j i l l a with a three you could book me on my email official k jilla nine five that's on my bio I don't know. I'm a black boy, so I don't really like being on camera and not like this. <laughs> if it ain't me shooting the music video, it sound like that. <laughs> All right, well, y'all heard Kate Jilla. And like I said, that is another Live on Lake Street episode. My name is Lady Shook, and we are out here. It ain't that I can't stop. Nope. It's that I won't stop. Yeah. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. Chief. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street legend CEO, not the co founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so churched up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. No. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yeah. I'm on Lake Street, yo. When you popping in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out. Facts, okay? we gonna be on that joint. Live on motherfucking Lake Street, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to say it. Say it.